Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Conversation. And uh, in this video today, we're going to talk about the ICOs. So 2017 was the biggest year for the ICOs. The number of ICOs were raised. And we want to have a look at how the 2018 is going to be look like, right? Uh, the ICOs are really, really an integral part of this entire ecosystem. And it's always amazing to see these news ideas coming up every month or maybe every day. Uh, so we'll look at the four, uh, maybe top 10 successful uh, blockchain industry, blockchain companies, which which was, was successful in 2017. And I do see some of the good names, right? I, I, I see Ethereum here. I see, uh, uh, I see IOTA and all those stuff. So there are about 10 companies or 10 startups or 10 ICOs or whatever you call. We're going to look at that. And also we're going to look at... Uh, the numbers, it was about 4 billions of money which was raised in ICO last year. And what I get to hear is that 2018 is going to be even bigger. Uh, and there is a chart that we're going to go through how the amount of ICOs have increased, how the amount of money flowing into ICOs have increased right from 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now 18 can be even bigger than 16. And what I get to hear is so far there are about 180 ICOs already confirmed, which you can already check on on ICObench.com. So we're going to discuss all that and I uh, hope you stay with me. Thank you so much once again for coming back. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the channel we talk about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, news developments and market sentiments around the world. So just to keep you guys updated on what's hot and what's not into cryptocurrency space. So let's start with this news. So ICO raised about 4 billions of money in 2017. And how does the 2018 looks like, right? This is obviously published on Cointelegraph. Uh, so it says that 2017 has definitely been a record breaking year for ICOs of fiat money, which is like a paper money, irrespective of what country it is. It could be US dollar, it could be uh, Indian INR, it could be Japanese yen, it could be Chinese yuan, whatever. Uh, worth 4 billions of money went into these cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin into, into ICOs specifically, if I have to be specific, right? And yet in the same year, the traditional IPO, so this is a beautiful comparison between initial public offering, which is basically an IPO uh, with the ICOs, which is the initial coin offering. So just to let you know, some of you who may not know this, so ICO is another form of raising funds for the new startups like how we used to do it for uh, startups earlier traditionally which was called initial public offering but this is a change so there is a change that blockchain has brought in uh in the in the form of ico which enables the normal guys i mean not not just the venture capitalist but a normal guy just like you and me to participate and become a part and to fund a project which is such a beautiful thing isn't it uh so yes so, there is a comparison between uh, ICOs and uh, IPOs. So, IPOs raised about 188 billion in total. Uh, compare that to about 4 billion in ICO. I mean, of course, there is a huge difference. But I think this gap is will be filled up over a period of time. Uh, and this is the report, by the way, by, from Ernst Young. And, uh, yeah. So, now, what do we see here? So, in one year, ICO's proceeds have surged almost 40 folds. Now, this is important. So, uh, from 96 million, 96 dollar million in 2016, look at this number, right? So, this was about only 96 million and compare that with 4 billions in 2016, uh, 2017. And more than 180 new ICOs are scheduled to launch in 2018 which is according to the ICO bench listing. Now, what are these ICOs? Is also, they have listed it beautifully here. VPower, then Pocketins, then EasyPose. Uh, well, I'm not saying that all of these ICOs are going to be like rocking ICO. You should just go ahead and read the white paper and just give your fun. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that these are the starters which are scheduled, right? And obviously, when you make, when you invest into any ICOs, it's your money. You should definitely do do your due diligence and we will try and cover some of the ICOs on this channel uh, whichever looks promising to me probably and uh, just to make things sim thing, uh, thing simple for you but just in case if you want to go ahead and read it yourself I mean these are the number of ICOs right? there are 117 pages so far 
on icobench.com. These are the ICOs, by the way, scheduled for 2018, guys. Are you excited about this, right? This is this is amazing. Uh, you know, some of them can be Ethereum, some of them can turn out to be a Dash, some of them cannot can turn out to be a Cotton, some of them can turn out to be uh, to be to be to be a Neo. Uh, you never know, right? So these are the number of ICOs. I'll leave the link in the description below. Go ahead and check that. Uh, one of the debate that has been, is it a good reason? We go, a bad reason or the ugly reason. <laughs> what, what, what do they actually mean to say? Now, uh, see, now a lot of people will actually take ICO as to making quick money, right? Which is okay, not bad at all. But at the same time, the ICOs are also really important to grow this ecosystem, right? Uh, it's not just about money, right? It's just not about finance. It is also about changing the world one at a time with one ICO at a time. Now, just to give an example, look at what uh, Steemit has done. Look at what uh, look at what uh, Ethereum has done, right? Uh, look at what uh, uh, Dash has done. So these startups, apart from there being a lot of money, they also have some promising change that they, they promise to bring in the future. So, of course, uh, so there, there's a good reason, there's a bad reason, and then there are ugly reasons as well. And what to expect in uh, 2018, in coming year, ICOs will offer more projects to serve broader community, not limiting itself to any more to the blockchain infrastructure development, payments, and speculative trading. It will less much less revolve and around purely financial technology. In 2017, we have already seen examples of blockchain not republic, Notary, right? Blockchain based real estate investment, uh, loyalty programs, supply chain management, which is like a V chain and uh, Walton chain, intellectual property rights management, and other real world applications. We will see more of that in 2018, guys. How exciting that that! Amazing, isn't it? The whole ecosystem is going. It's so exciting time here to be involved. And uh, let's talk about the some of the top. 10 companies that we had uh, 2017, right? So it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful post on beautiful article, whatever you call on Coin Telegraph. It says top 10 companies of the blockchain industry in 2017. And uh, as you can see, 2017 was definitely the year of blockchain cryptocurrencies. I would 100% agree with it. Bitcoin has surged from more than $950 to $20,000, which dropped down to $13 now. Uh, just in the correction phase uh, but let's see exactly let's see what exactly happened so couple couple of the blockchain project right uh, initial coin offering of course number of initial coin offering now the number one that goes without saying was ethereum ethereum market capitalization is 73 billion i think seven ethereum still does deserve to be on the number two position uh, i mean the hundreds of hundreds of ICOs right now which are using Ethereum platform to build their project and to raise funds. So as you can see, Ethereum is a decentralized platform that works with smart contracts. Smart contracts allow making agreements that are executed automatically without any human interaction. How beautiful is that? I mean, you don't need human interaction at all to execute a contract. Now, smart contracts is nothing but writing a code that if this happened, this is what, you know, putting a condition onto that. Uh, look at the people involved into this. So Vitalik, the winner of 2014 World Technology Award, and Jeffrey Wickel, the former vice president of Amazon. Look at these numbers. These are these guys, right? And they are really not a small people. So uh, this is a market share, by the way. But let me just show you. There's a picture here that talks about Ethereum, custom platform ways. But... Vitalik and then you have uh, Jeffrey from Amazon, right? So that's the number one. The number two, these are the most top most successful companies, by the way, blockchain companies in 2017. Uh, this is very interesting. So Ethereum number one, and then you have IOTA. I do see IOTA being the number two, number one here in 2018 because it's, it's Internet of Things, guys. Everything is going to be operated on Internet, all the objects, fridge, refrigerator, fan, everything. And that is where IOTA will be, play a very important role. This is built on a technology called Tangle. We have already covered this on the channel. Uh, 15 billion market cap already. 
Um, in, in November, IOTA partnered with PWC, Microsoft, Doshe, Telecom, and others of data monetization program. Guys, this is huge. This is just amazing, isn't it? I mean, these are these are these are the partnerships that we are working, we were looking for. Imagine you having IOTA. Amazing, isn't it? So this is this is the number two IOTA. Definitely, if you've not looked into it, go ahead and look into it again. Having said that, I'm not saying go ahead and invest or buy something. I mean, that is something that I would never do. What I urge you guys to do is that if you have not read about these projects, go ahead, study them, and find out about them. I've already covered Ethereum on this channel. I've already covered what is it, IOTA. Learn about them and find out more information if you haven't done participation as yet. Uh, because your knowledge is really, really important. The cryptocurrencies are volatile. You should definitely know where you're putting your money. Coinbase. Wow. This has been the most successful startup that I have come across. This is, by the way, traditional. Not traditional, but this, this is one of the largest exchange in the world right now from US. They also started GDAX, right? Uh, which is a digital, a global digital asset exchange. So uh, I know most people... They, they get started into cryptocurrencies with a Bitcoin on Coinbase. Coinbase having, they got listed in the top five apps, beating Instagram, beating uh, Facebook, and beating all these applications. So Coinbase is, as, is the most successful. Look at the CEO, Brand Armstrong, a, a proud man. And Coinbase is also, I guess, starting with the custodian services, wherein they will allow... Uh, uh, institutional investors to invest into uh, digital assets like cryptocurrency and blockchain assets and they would be a custodian and uh, so that basically they would charge a, a, some amount of fee for, for holding these funds but what an amazing startup we had what an amazing year it has been for Coinbase uh, you know that's on number three uh, again some powerful people uh, if you look at Brands Armstrong Brand Armstrong is a uh, so what I like about this post also that they have given a background of who started and what is their background. So if you look, at, if you look at Brian Storm, Brian Armstrong, he worked with Airbnb, one of the biggest uh, brand today. Deloitte, IBM, and Fred Ashram, and Fred Ashram, the other guy, right? He is a trader of Goldman Sachs. So guys, I mean, these are the kind of people who are a part of this blockchain economy and uh, what a time it is to be involved and uh, look at their background it's it's really really amazing to see these kind of people getting into blockchain space and forming these companies right ripple by the way okay so ripple is being uh, criticized for being centralized but at the, at the same time i do think that banks will exist for at least a couple of years if not uh, not forever and i think the ripple has a product ripple has a solution for these banks which will enable them to transfer money across the globe at a cheaper rate and at, at a faster speed so again with the 30 billion it all changed in a in a in a in a, in a month's time uh, but good to see this is the ceo of uh, ripple and this is the ca cto of ripple the other one project is brave browser guys again this is something that i've already covered uh, on this channel brave browser this is by none other than the founder of mozilla firefox and JavaScript, right? Uh, Bind Nike. I mean, look at this. So, what I'm fascinated with the kind of um, the, the the kind of people who are getting into the space, who are building this stuff onto blockchain, is what excites me more than anything else. And they are capable of building uh, building amazing things, right? So, he's built up Brave Browser. It's a it's a decentralized browser. It's a private browser. Browser. It keeps you anonymous. It, it, it blocks your ad, uh, advertisement. Again, this is something that we have covered. Amazing project. Amazing project. Brave browser. Back tokens, right? So, Benton Ike. So, this was another one. Qtum. Uh, by the way, so Qtum, uh, the founder, the creator of Qtum uh, was uh, back to die. He was here in Mumbai uh, last uh, week uh, at, at a tech fest. I couldn't meet him, but uh, he had a lecture here. Uh, but again, Qtum is one of the uh, UTXO-based smart contract system proof-of-stake consensus model. Of course, uh, very, uh, something similar to Ethereum or probably even better. Amazing project started once again. 
Uh, they are in the top 10 as well. They're doing fantastic. Uh, and then you have, right, so these are Patrick Dye and He Jordan. If you look at their background as well, it's pretty strong. Um, he has been the chief blockchain architect at Bitsy, right, which is huge. So having a lot of experience. And then you have Omis Go, my God, Omis Go has been an amazing project. Uh, they have already tied up with, uh, tied up with, I guess, McDonald's in Thailand, uh, uh, right? And uh, Vitalik is there on the board. Kevin Wood, some of the prominent names. Roger Ware is there on the, on the, on the advisory board. Such an amazing project, Omis Go, which, which promises to uh, uh, merge fiat and crypto on one, one wallet, wherein they, you you know there's no way to differentiate and uh, no matter where you are you can still make your payment uh, whether you're holding crypto or fiat so amazing project they're already an existing company for 2013 they are building up a new project called omg tokens so omis go built on ethereum again one of the most successful startup with 17 billion yeah uh, and then you have steam my god steam is supposed to be the decentralized reddit or decentralized facebook right uh once again it's it's a project by dan larimer who is also building yours by the way now i'm closely looking at yours i think yours has a lot of potential stating at about eight dollar right now uh, i think the yours is going to be the next big thing so from the creator of uh uh steam it and uh, bit chase you have uh yours coming up next year do watch out for that yes yeah, so steam is definitely in the top 10 with 815 million and then augur the 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 prediction market platform this is another one right so some of the amazing projects amazing i mean they're not just uh, money driven but they are driven by the technology itself right uh this is an amazing project augur and then you have golem the decentralized supercomputer right and with 500 million and then you have right so these are the top 10 and all of them are very very powerful a lot of people do ask me right what are the what are your what are your some what are your some good projects that you are fascinated with what you are looking out for while well, i'm looking out for all of these which are listed right here so golem is my favorite Auger is my favorite uh steam is my favorite right omis go is my favorite qtum is my favorite uh, Brave Browser is my favorite. Ripple is something that I I wouldn't call it's my favorite. Uh, I don't hold any Ripple. And uh, yeah, Coinbase is amazing uh, startup. But I'm just talking about in the terms of token. IOTA is my favorite, and of course Ethereum. So what an amazing year, guys! Uh, I'm very excited to see what happens in 2018. Of course, they have already announced the number of ICOs, the name of the ICOs on ICOsbench.com. Uh, the, the dates, these dates might change or may not change. I mean, this is just a rough, I guess. Uh, however, there can be some changes as well in, 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 the, in the terms of date. Or maybe they can add even more ICOs, right? So this was, the, this was all about ICOs from last year and the ICOs this year. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of excitement. Do let me know what you think about these ICOs which are planned for 2018. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was good. And uh, let me know your opinion in the comment box below. And uh, subscribe if you're new to this channel. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys.